România nu este în siguranță în fața schimbărilor climatice, avertizează un profesor de inginerie civilă și mediu de la prestigioasa Universitate Virginia Tech din SUA. Nivelul mării negre va crește în următoarele decenii și autoritățile vor fi nevoite să gândească un plan pentru a-și proteja țărmurile. Statele Unite ale Americii se pregătesc de creșterea nivelului apei cu până la 30 de centimetri până în 2050, lucru care va duce la inundații semnificative. Profesorul Sherif Abdelaziz lucrează alături de autoritățile de acolo la soluții prin care să securizeze zonele de coastă prin construirea de diguri rezistente la trecerea timpului. So the US was alerted back actually in 2005 with Hurricane Katrina um, that we really need to react for um, um, the, uh, the sea level uh, increase and since 2005 we have been reminded every year nature basically emphasizes on the importance of of uh, of uh, reacting by either stronger hurricanes or or, or other uh, climate change consequences um the us is in indeed investing a, a, a lot of money several billion dollars to strengthen the uh, sh uh, shoreline uh, protection systems and this includes Uh, the levy system uh, includes uh, flood walls and flood gates. Are we going to be ready by 2050, basically yes. protecting all our shorelines? I don't think this is going to happen because we are reacting so slowly. Um, by the year 250, we will have some protections. It may not be enough. Professor, uh, which is the best system for protection? against floods, against uh, sea level uh, rising? It's not a single system. We need, we need multiple layers of protection. We need flood walls. These are basically um, walls that um, will rise um, when we have a, a significant increase. Um, and these walls can be used when we have a hurricane or we have an incident that were, was not predicted, but we also need Uh, um, gates and we need levy systems. So it, we need multiple layers to make sure that we're truly protected. Um, imagine it as like a second, you know, a first def uh, defense line and then a second defense line if, if something happens that we were not predicting. Do you think that other countries should also uh, take uh, measures, for example, like uh, Romania? Absolutely, honestly, I, I think I think um, any any country that has uh, any sort of a shoreline, uh, whether that's a river, whether that's an ocean, whether that's a sea, um, needs to react. Um, the climate change is true and it is happening worldwide and it's impacting all of us. Uh, no one is naturally protected Uh, from the impact of climate change. Um, actually, if, if we're going to focus more about Romania and, and um, the, the Black Sea, um, one would expect that the Black Sea is protected because it's more of an enclosed uh, uh, basin, uh, except that, you know, the PES4 basically is a connection with the Mediterranean Sea. Um, but reality is that Black Sea is being impacted. There is significant increase in the sea level in the Black Sea as well. Yes, it's because of different phenomena, but it is happening. You have an increased amount of floods from the rivers that basically go to the sea, to the Black Sea that increases its level. But if you think about it as well, the temperature worldwide is increasing. And because of the increase of the temperature worldwide, water expands. And the Black Sea water is expanding. So the thermal expansion of this water is increasing the Black Sea. And recent studies um, for the sea level rises in the Black Sea have shown and proven that the Black Sea is experiencing a sea level rises that actually exceeds the average worldwide sea level rises. So no one is protected, even though if, if you're enclosed. Do you think that also Romanian authorities should think on a long term uh, plan? Uh, to protect the shores. Absolutely. I, I, again, everybody needs to react. No one is protected. The climate is changing. It's impacting all of us. Um, everybody, everybody has a shoreline. Even rivers needs to need, need to be considered.